proof there's no chance for justice. If I could punish certain senators, I would have done it long ago. Push time. Sorry about this. Let me discuss this further. All of you are exposed. Be very careful not to tell anyone about this. And please be especially careful Lynn doesn't hear about it. She's still too young to know about such sort of things. In any case, I'll definitely take care of that business about Sagai. He certainly can't take the life of King's man. Yes. Thank you, Ferret. Your Majesty, about that Dark Arcanum. Yes, I know. I'll see what I can do. Yes, thank you, Your Majesty. So what do you make of that? All the same. Quite interesting. Um, I'm wondering if you didn't interject whether it'd change it, but I'm presuming, knowing Jap RPGs, it wouldn't have changed anything. Might change a couple of lines. What about it? Even though saying that, the Sukodans, every Sukodan game does have a couple of events where what you say and what you choose to do can actually have a major effect on the game. Right. Um, for example, Sukoden 2 has a section where you can choose to run away from a battle. Right. And you can actually end the game early and have a bad ending by cho continually choosing to run away okay, from yeah. a war battle. And there's actually an entire series of scenes which show you trying to escape the country. Yeah, cool. Um, and Sukoden 5 later on does actually have um, a choice of scenes like that. Mm. We'll be choosing a particular way because I don't want to lose a character. Okay. But you can choose a different set of events. Yeah, I doubt it'd uh, burn down Stormfist regardless of what choice we make. No, not in this case, no. No, Japan, Japanese RPGs, generally speaking, aren't known for their uh, free flowing gameplay, are they? Well, I suppose um, Star Ocean kind of has the multiple ending things going on. Yeah. And, uh, well, there's a few JRPGs that do. Star Ocean is quite notable because it had so many. Most of them tend to be more based on the side quests, an alternate game via side quest as opposed to altering the main quest. Mm. The Chrono Trigger lets you play the game in different ways, you can choose to finish it at various points throughout, can't you? But if you can actually alter the main quest, you can just choose to end the main quest early. Mm. So, who should go say goodbye to, do you think? Everyone. 
we'll go find Belcoot and Marina. It might be worth our saying goodbye to Murad and Shun as well. Which is a slight spoiler, both of them are recruitable later on. Well, all of them are recruitable later on into your team. Mm. So it's good to get a relationship going with them now. So let's go see Belco to Marina, then I think we can uh, leave Stormfist. Where to after Stormfist then? Uh, back to Solfalena. Um, I believe for the Queen and Fairy to work out what move to make next. Mm. What the game does upon leaving Stormfist is ratchet up a gear. You get a lot more freedom on the world map, and there's a lot more combat that takes place. Sounds interesting. I like it when you get to that stage in the game. I just wish it happened a bit earlier on uh, Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> Still hasn't happened for me yet, so... I'm not a big fan of Final Fantasy XIII for anyone listening. I think it's the most overrated pile of trash to be released. Pretty I... much on the PS3, not fan at all. Terrible game. But... I'm not of that opinion. Uh, I think it's quite decent, uh, just too far a step away from the, the earlier ones for a lot of people, but I quite enjoyed it. The battle system's good, I'll give it that, but a Japanese RPG with a terrible story, and no world map, I've got to admit and no explorations, just... I've got to admit the story was pretty dire. And, yeah. Hope and Vanille, oh dear. The reason I love 7 and 8 so much is because the story is fantastic. And exploration's quite good as well. Yes. And the cutscenes are amazing. I think one of the reasons that I love this game so much actually is that this is everything that Final Fantasy XIII isn't. Mm. I do like Belcourt's character, very honourable. Proper hero, eh? Yes. Humble.
Jog off to Solfalina now. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the talking, but I'm looking forward to the action. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to have a break in an RPG. A well balanced RPG has a talking to a point, then action to a point, and so, you know. When you, when you feel tired of the talking, you get the battles, and vice versa. Hmm. Still, many RPGs today don't really tend to have any sort of character development or talking, do they? Really? A lot of them. No sort of exploration like this. It's been a while since I've seen a decent story. 